Hey, what's up all you many distant gamers? I'm Skaterak. And I'm here with... What do you mean? You just said hi to me. Why are you trying to ask who I am? I'm well... Andrew. I'm Andrew. Um, so, welcome to our very first mining tutorial. Yes. Um, this is something special. Uh, let's take a moment of silence, bow down, and remember the good times. Back before when we used to mine in caves and hope for the best. <laughs> Today is a new day! <laughs> anyway, um, we're here. I'm here with Skater Rack Douche. Uh, wow. And, I mean, uh, Skater Rack is a good <coughs> person. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here we are. I'm sure you guys might have seen glass mines, you know, whatever. <laughs> but we are the originators of <laughs> glass mines. Yes. Um, <laughs> So here we are in our basement. Give them a little view, like a little spin around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our basement. Not looking too nice, but it's hard. And it's all right. Um, that's where our water source is. Don't worry about it. Um, so here is the opening to the tunnel to the entrance of the glass mine. <laughs> to the entrance of the glass mine, yes. Um, so first off, let me give you guys a little inventory uh, description here. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna give Skaterack what I suggest, okay? So Skaterack, open up your toolbar. Clear yes. your toolbar. Oh, uh, okay. all right. So here are the items you should bring if you're planning on building a glass mine. You probably <laughs> want about two stacks of wood, six. Um, I suggest you bring a crafting table so you can uh, because not everybody's gonna be doing this from their house. So they might want a crafting table, right? So they yeah. Can pickaxes and stuff. Yeah. I suggest you start with at least two pickaxes, and then you'll get probably get cobble and stuff to make your to make more. Uh, lots of torches. Um, shovels. Shovels are big. You'll see our gravel situation. <laughs> um, and food, of course, food. Uh, I don't have very much food. Um, <laughs> but that's think? we were doing it right under our crib, our house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are the items. May probably a map too. Probably a map. Yeah. Um, but those are the items. Uh, you. Yeah. Uh, torches, pickaxes, and sticks. That's what you mainly want. Because and food. But if you're not above your house. Anyway, Skater, I can have my crap back. Um, uh, I can pause the video if they need to see that. Um, yeah. So, so that's the stuff you need. Explain while you're dropping that. Um, so what you want to do, first of all, if you really want minecarts in the, your entrance thing, I don't know how long your entrance is going to be. Oh my god. Um, wow. Hold on, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so we, we're making ours three by three. <coughs> um, so we're going to have a minecart just going down the middle. It's going to zoom through. Uh, we are trying, we're going to eventually probably make it look, in, make it look nice by getting really like, gravel like this right here um but for now we're just doing the rough draft so three by three torch torches so mobs the monsters don't pop up too often uh so let's run down that real quick so yeah there's gonna be a lot of gravel as you can see right here um it's gonna get really rough you're gonna need a lot of shovels um shovels right yeah keep nodding your head um, <laughs> shovels break pretty easily um even stone ones so just just be prepared for that dirt common too. You can see there's dirt here. Also, be prepared for incidents like this right here. This can be common. <laughs> it can be common, but it's fixable. <laughs> Just like that. But uh, anyways, you probably don't want to put gravel there. Um, yeah, if water is an issue. One thing that is good to do is to just dig forward for a little bit. Like, just dig two blocks, like, just person size, and just dig forward for a little bit to see, to scout your area, see if you got water coming and gravel, and then come back and, you know, spread the love to the rest of the blocks. <laughs> um, and, yeah, uh, uh, once you finish up with you know, your rough draft and you got it as long as you want it out, you also, another little tip, try to be in the center of the map, like pretty like if you really plan on working hard on this 
like try to get centered a little more. Um, that's a really important thing. We're pretty close to the center. We're close enough to the center. Um, but once you see how our glass mines are set up, you'll understand why you want to be in the center. Um, but yeah, next step, mine carts. Yeah. Step two! Wait, what? Um, okay. Anyways, step two. What you're going to want to do for step two, as you can see, we walked down the hallway. Um, we've entered this, we've entered this room, and this is space. You're going to want this room to be nice and comfortable. The furnaces, uh, Gatoracted that. Um, I, I helped after it looked bad, so I had to make it look okay. It still doesn't even look that good, but that's not the point. Crash test over here. Skater act, you can show them that. It's opening up. Well, this chest, we just put our crap in there. Um, the, these two middle chests are the trash chests. And then this one's my stuff. Um, alright. So, yeah, that's that. Um, so this room's dimensions. You guys might want to know that. It, these sides, uh, this, this wall right here, how long it is or wide, whichever way you go by. This is, I believe, 19 or 18 blocks, and this one is 29 blocks. And then these ones right here, I actually don't know, but I'll count one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that means it's 26 plus 3. So this is 29. Duh, what am I saying? That's because of the Anyway, um, you, got, you want this to, you know, at least be three blocks anyway. Um, so, we got it kind of set up in a, uh, interesting way. Lots of furnaces. Really, we only use, like, these first two. Uh, these two lined up right next to me. Um, we got a crafting table here, you know, for all your crafting needs. Our first trash chest, along with our 10 gold and 16 iron that we found just building this thing. Pretty nice. Um, so... Uh, what you're gonna need, obviously, torches, you wanna light up this room a lot, cause mobs, monsters, sorry, I don't say mobs, uh, monsters, and, you know, you wanna make most of the floor stone, so the dirt doesn't drive you nuts like it does the skater act. Um, uh, as you can see, we didn't care too much about that, because this little L right here. Um, uh, but yeah, step three, moving on. All right, step three. For this step, now that you have your room set up with a lot of trash chests, because that's going to be necessary. I'm sure just setting up this room, you got a lot of trash chests, a lot of trash to put away. So here we are, got your room. Now here what you're going to want to do is four blocks from this wall. We have a furnace in the way, but four blocks, or... Sorry, five blocks from this wall, you're going to want to put your corner of the glass. And also, uh, what is this? one, two, three, four, five. So, six blocks from this wall, you want to put your first corner, the bottom left of the room. And so on for these. This one's only two blocks from it. As you can see, it's pretty obvious. Skater X, show them over here. Uh, you see, this one's only two blocks. You can make this wider if you really want to. Uh, we just went with this. So, we did the math here, and for every single layer, you're going to need 187 blocks of sand, but you can subtract one from every layer because of this hole right here, in which you're going to put your trap door, and I suggest a trap door, you can leave it open if you really want, but trap door is important because I had an experience earlier with a creeper crawling up as I was coming down, so I suggest a trap door. You have to put this uh, a block right here that isn't glass because you can't connect anything to glass. I tried already. And like we said before, a lot of torches. Uh, and yeah, so 186 blocks per layer. We don't know how many layers it's going to turn out to be yet because we built it one step on the ground. We did do this mine before. I think we had like 14 levels or something like that. And uh, that was in our other other survival. So yeah, uh, 
Step four coming up. All right. Step four. Step four. You're gonna wanna after you place your block in your trap door, you're gonna wanna head down. Um don't have ladders yet. Oh yeah. Oh duh, I forgot gotta tell you guys the dimensions in between here. Okay. So once you put the glass down, you're gonna want it four blocks down, four blocks tall, and then you're gonna want on the fifth block you wanna put your next layer starting up. So that's it's not too hard to understand that. Um you can make it whatever walls you want, all that, blah, blah. Um, yeah, torches, I suggest putting one next to every ladder like this on the bottom block. Uh, I did it in the middle one over here, one block above. I have, like, a little setup for the torches. And on the sides, I do, like, one on the side. Those other torches that you see spread throughout the wall, those are from Skater Act. All right, so, uh, so here's another key piece to uh, this system. These are eventually going to be ender chests, so... Or, well, some of them are. Some are going to be just normal for trash and other crap. But once we get lava, though, we're going to make, like, just a trash can. You'll see how we did that in... We did it in our other survival. We'll show you in this one eventually. Um, yeah, we got a chest. Two beds on the top layer. And then we decided a different type of system here. We're going to put two beds on the last layer available. And then two beds in, like, the middle. So, that way we can sleep if we ever have to in the middle to... Maybe make some the monsters less common. Yeah, depending on depending on how many people we have, we will you make you should make the amount of beds required. Um we've also placed a crafting table right here. We haven't put the furnace down because Skarak didn't make it yet, but it's fine. Um let's show you the second one just so you get you guys going with the uh, system here. Uh ladders, I, let me just these are brief, you know, just just sticks down this row and yeah makes it easy to round um so here we got a furnace you're gonna get a bunch of coal from making this um so you can just put that in there chests once again and a crafting table it's just like quick access you need to craft pickaxes shovels you need to maybe uh smelt i'm gonna use the real word not minecraft fire up where it's smelt your iron or your your gold um you can do it right here. Easy access allows you to make your tools or whatever you need. Um, and yeah, that's all for step. All right, step four. So what you're gonna want to do? Oh, you're looking there. You like that chicken skin? All right. As you can see, we are here, back in the mine with lava. Trash cans. Now, I know that sounds really plain and boring, but man, look at how that door opens. Woo! Letting out all that heat. Look, you just stand there. Woo, I'm cooking. Oh, chicken wings for dinner tonight. Um, but as you can see, it flows way down to the bottom. I think like level 9 or something like that. Your levels will vary. This is useful for trash, like these useless freaking diamonds. And for this trash, you see, it just burns, so you don't have to hold any inventories or chests. Look at all those useless diamonds. You know, I'm not a big fan of gold either. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, coal's okay. But, you know, some of it's got to burn sometimes. Diamond pickaxe? Really? Who made this crap? So you're actually building this mine. So the earlier you can get the lava, lava pickaxe, here, i got to look at you guys. The earlier you can get the lava pick, the lava trash can, the better your digging of this mine will go. And here we are with the emergency. If you get the lava trash can, you must have this. You're going to want this water elevator, we call it. We call that a lava trash can. We call this a water elevator. Um, you see, this gets a much fancier name because it's H2O. Oh, chickens can't swim. Um, so why don't you come down here, Panda Express. Um, so as you can see, Skater Act went down too far. Um, we use this, and it goes down every single thing, so you always have access. You can throw it in here. You can throw all your diamonds, gold, whatever you want to throw in there, blah, 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 and it burns, and you will never see it again. So let's head on down to the very bottom so I can show you guys how we make sure this stuff doesn't all spill and burn your guts while you're trying to mine diamonds way down at the bottom row.
And also we have another thing we will talk about later that Skaterac came up with, which two figured things out. Um, so as you can see, we simply use some slabs. <laughs> Very complicated, I know. And then listen, slabs are hard to find in the wild, okay? So you might have to make your own. Slabs are very rare. These are called stone, or it's actually cobblestone slabs. Darn, see, even I'm messing up. They're so rare. But as you can see, what you do in emergencies is you run all the way over here. And look, just when your heart's at half, you want to jump in. Oh, it's taking so long. But um, you just jump in, and it's, this is mostly for Skater Act because I never get burned by lava. Skater Act always gets burned by lava. And she can't deny it right now because she's busy. Um, so as you can see, this is our setup for the lava pickaxes. And next we will be talking about uh, the uh, something. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm laying diamond eggs. All right, step six. So now that you guys have learned how to use the magnificent lava trash can and the more magnificent water elevator, actually the lava trash can is a little more useful. Um, now I'm going to teach you probably the second most important part of your glass mine, tunnels that get you the ores that you are looking for. Now these tunnels are very important. How you set them up, determines here, I gotta act like I'm talking, determines whether or not you find ores efficiently. So for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig a few examples. So what you wanna do, you wanna start one block in. You never wanna dig it on the outside because that's just gonna leave it open. You wanna start one block in and then you dig, dig, oh my god, of course this has gravel in it. Um and let's say this one. So you just dig a couple blocks down and sometimes you'll find ores, sometimes you won't. And then what you wanna do I'm going to skip two blocks. Now, the reason for this is because if you dig right next to it, you're just going to see the same side on this side and on this side. You're going to just see the same block. But if you dig two blocks over, you get to see this block that's next to it, and you don't just see a repeat. So that way you don't waste your time digging over the same stuff. Now you're just going to go through this pattern on the same side, make sure they're corresponding. So now, now this is important as well. Go down to the next layer. You're going to want to, so uh, for that layer, I dug one over. For this one, since it's right under it, you want to dig one over even that. Because this way, you don't get the blocks that are under that one, that are like right under that. That also helps, just like the other thing. So you dig, this one you want to dig three blocks over. Then when you go down to the next level, it's, it goes back to the old way from the first level. It just keeps repeating its a pattern. So for this one, you just go one block. And it's the same for both sides. And that is pretty much how you want to set up your tunnels. And you'll just follow this thing the whole way. Step six. Next. Uh, diamonds. Welcome to step seven. E third most important part of the glass mine. Now, here we are. We've got our thing dug down to obsidian, as you can see under here. And, you know, we want to start establishing... Shut up. We want to start establishing uh, the bedrock. Above the bedrock, we want to start establishing a minecart system. Now, you're going to want to do this on every, every single, single, single tunnel, because this is key. Once we get the chest in here and all that, you can send materials down. And this makes traveling quicker. Oh, no, I broke it. See those reflexes? You see those reflexes? Diamond pickaxe master, Andrew Urker. Um, and don't look me up. Uh, so, this mine, we're, me and Skaterak, we're working on some improvements. going to try to add a button. Right now, it's all about reflexes. So, let's walk along. So, as you can see, we have powered rails. Oh, uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So, if you don't have the button, you want to keep it like a couple spaces back so you can push it a little bit. And if you have a partner that isn't a douchebag, um, uh, you can you have them push you. 
Um, you can also, if you really want to, you can build two rails. Now, if you want to save materials, you might not want to do that. If you're by yourself, you might not want to do that. But since I'm with Skater Rack, you might have wanted to build two rails. But for now, this is how it looks. So as you can see, you got your powered rail. You can probably use detector rails, too. Either one works. And you can build it like five, six, five to like eight rails ahead. And you just keep traveling along. You build it along and along. As you can see, this is a good, perfect example to explain the last step. You see how the tunnels, they're every two blocks. Um, we, do, we dug them just as templates. Like, they're just kind of like, there, hey, my friend. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, I'll show you guys. Ah, so, as you can see, creepers can be a problem sometimes. But, hey, it's Minecraft. What would the fun be if your mind never got attacked? Um... So as you can see, skater, see I can push skater rack right into that lava pit ahead of her. I should have left that lava thing open. Um, but as you can see, that's how it works. We're not finished yet. Um, but also this is another thing I want to explain now since we're on this. Uh, whenever you have lava like this, if you can't get it all out, um, we suggest keeping it for a source. But we're planning. I'm planning on getting rid of this because there's sources down there. But that's just one little thing. Um, but yeah, this is how the minecart system works. If you want doubles, you can do the same setup, or you can use detector rails either way. And yeah, um, minecarts are useful. Help people see. Step 8 is what is now. Step 9 will be next, if there is a step 9. Ah. See, chickens never lie. Um, so anyways, we're listen up, people, because we're almost done our mind now. If you guys have been keeping up with the steps, you should have, one, a set area where you have your surface covered with two trap doors. You should have a lava and water. I will call it a lava elevator, too, just to make him feel good. And you can swim up it if you want. You might die a little too quickly, though, unless you have fire resistance. Um, but that's just a waste of a potion. Um, you should have that. You should have all of your layers filled with glass in the centers to give you a surface to walk on, allow you to see mo monsters below and all that. You should have uh, ladders going down on both your entrances of your trapdoors, and many furnaces, and lots of chests, and all those stations where you have beds, uh, crafting tables, chests, all that. And you should have these tunnels, these long tunnels dug out on each layer, and you should have at least templates of these small tunnels, just so you can have your thing set up and you know where to start from whenever you're coming down here. Because in reality, you're not actually supposed to finish this mine like when you build it. Because this mine is for whatever you're running low on ores, you can just come down here and dig, and you'll find them. It's not for, like, digging up the whole thing at once. Um, that's the whole point of this thing, because that would just be t too much of uh, my mining at one time. So you should, at this point, have all your layers dug down to bedrock, and you should be establishing these tunnels. And mine carts. Mine carts are probably something that will take you a little longer. So one thing I wanted to add, once you get to the end of your tunnel, uh, me and Skaterak have a suggestion that would help you travel across the map a lot quicker. And we're thinking, we haven't done it yet because I want to dig this part up, but we're going to extend this like this and make the very end like this. And this will make kind of like a subway station. That's what I think of. It'll be like a train, underground train, and we're going to put a minecart all around the square world that Minecraft is. Why did you just hit me? Oh, I'm getting shot. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Ah! And that's step 10, guys. Uh, step 8. I see chickens do lie. Um, but yeah, pretty much just that's our plan. Uh, we suggest this because it'll make it easier for traveling. And when you actually have a cool seed, you may want to travel a lot. Who knows? Or if you like skid rack, you may want to sit in your house all day. Thanks. And stay tuned for. Uh, bok bok, uh, tips and advice.
advice to add on, but after this, this is pretty much all the steps you need to take. Next will just be tips. Tips and add-ons. Download your add-ons. Dancebox Marketplace. Bonuses. Welcome, guys, to the bonus section of the Glass Mine Tutorial. I mean, tutorial. Um, so here we are at the very bottom layer here, and we want you guys to feel safe with our knowledge. We want you guys to understand that glass mines aren't just a thing, they're a lifestyle. You live by this glass mine. This glass mine will probably be right next to your house. And if you're like us, that's pretty darn close. Um, so, as you can see, we've established everything. You know, furnaces, water, chests, beds, blah, blah, blah. Chests covered in lava. Beds covered in lava. Like, this is the life right here. And we're living it. So, as you can see, we, this bonus section, it's just going to be added on tips we didn't talk about during the steps. And believe this. If we come up with anything, we will tell you guys. We'll let you know. We'll make like a bonus add-on part. But for now, we don't we don't have too many bonuses to add. But the bonuses we do have to add. One thing is just a building error. The thing I I, sh I did not think of because I didn't expect there to be so much. Make sure you make a lot of buckets once you get down to the bottom three layers. But um, so. One tip, make a lot of buckets because I know obsidian is tough to come by. And you're getting, like, some of these lava sources, there's a ton of it, and you're just going to get so much. See, I told you Skater X the only one that runs into lava. Um, and you're just going to want a lot of buckets so you can collect this stuff all at once. It's very useful if you want to have a good source of obsidian for your, uh, 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 your, uh, like nether portals and all that stuff. Um, so... First of all, to go on the obsidian thing, Get Eric here built a obsidian generator. And it's not really a generator because, well, it is a generator. It's not like a cheating generator like Skater Act likes. Um, this one, you actually, you just put the lava there and you have the water and you break the slab and you collect the obsidian, you mine it up. Skater Act built this, um, one of the few things she actually did. Um, and it works pretty well. Uh, it's just really simple, that's all. We suggest you guys build one of these in the corner of your bottom floor, and it's very useful, very useful, because, um, unless you guys know how to cheat with your obsidian crap, I don't know, um, then, yeah, you don't need this, but I found this really useful, and it looks alright, and it fit perfectly in this corner. Uh, bonus number three, or advice, advisement, um, or just advice, um, there's a little glitch Skater Act wants me to mention for whatever stupid reason, but um, whenever you get to the end of a world, it's not a glitch. I don't know why she calls it a glitch. It's just how Minecraft works. When you get to the end of the world, this isn't the one where it's the end of the world, but you will see ores and stuff that will get you all mouth all watery and you get all sweaty because you can't get it. You get really nervous. You think you're going to dig it up. You're like, oh, diamond, redstone, gold, uh, all that stuff. And you're going to find out that it's just there for decoration. Um, sorry. It's just there to make your mind look cool. You guys can't dig it up. I know. Look, I'm looking down at it. Like, it's just sad. It makes me cry. And when I, I found out today, I never dug to the edge and actually found ore, so I never tried it. But apparently they really just say, hey, this is the end of the world. You're not getting cobble. You're not getting ore. Seriously. I can't believe this. Also, be careful of uh, lava sources. Lava sources, you can't get rid of them on the edge of the world. And those of you who tuned in for the last uh, part, or those of you who have been keeping up with our video here, um, you guys know that we're trying to build a little train station down there. And lava can certainly be an issue on that because you can't get rid of the sources if they're in that wall because sometimes there's openings where they pop out of the wall and yeah, there's no getting rid of it. And you might just have to build around it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all the advice. Um, for now, uh, if we come up with anything after this video is uploaded, and if you guys have any advice for us, let us know in the comments and...
yeah, yeah. Lots of comments, lots of comments. Um, uh, let us know. Um, it would be really nice, and we will certainly add a video on it, and we'll credit you guys for telling us about it. And it will help us all become one big old distant gamer family with with uh, matching glass minds in all of our survivals. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, suggestions, all that stuff, and, you know, you guys, you've heard this like 146 times. I don't know how many videos we have anymore. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, good luck on your mind. <laughs>